Lord willing, over the next week, I want to come to you via video here in the sanctuary of our church to talk to you about what I've been reading in the Puritans. You've heard me over the years talk about the Puritans and uh, Joel Beakey, who is our friend and he's been in this pulpit uh, preaching for us, uh, recommended uh, a couple of weeks ago on his blog several excellent Puritan resources. I chose one of them and I have been devouring it nearly every day. I finished uh, one reading through and then began reading it again and am uh, taking it piecemeal at a time now every day. And over the next uh, several days, uh, I hope, uh, Lord willing, to come to you via video and share with you some of what I'm reading. Uh, the book is A Welcome to the Plague by Samuel Shaw, written in 1665. Samuel Shaw uh, lived during the Great Plague of London, uh, and th th there are so many similarities uh, in Samuel Shaw's experience to what we are experiencing now uh, under the COVID-19 pandemic. Samuel Shaw lost two of his children. Uh, he lost uh, a housemaid and his sister to the Great Plague of London in 1665. In 1666, he wrote down his memoirs of going through that experience. Uh, a welcome to the plague is part one, and then part two is a farewell to life. I've read both of these books. At the end of the introduction to uh, uh, the, uh, the first book, uh, Welcome to the Plague, he gives three duties or responsibilities that you and I have that can be helpful to us as we go through times of affliction and times of loss. Now understand, this is a man who lost his children to the plague. Uh, when you read what he writes, it is so God-saturated. It is so submissive to the sovereignty of God. Uh, I commend the book to you. Uh, I'll get a link to you. Uh, matter of fact, I think I may have already emailed uh, the, the church a link but I may uh, do that again uh, as a reminder to you. Uh, the Puritans are difficult to read. I understand that. That's why we've got to take them about a paragraph at a time. And uh, as I say, at the conclusion of uh, Samuel Shaw's introduction to Welcome to the Plague, he offers these three duties. I only want to give you one of them today, and then uh, we'll come back in another video uh, or a couple of videos and give you the other two. The first duty that he gives, love and enjoy all things in God. Admire divine goodness in every created excellency and taste a divine sweetness in every created comfort. Oh, how is the noble soul of man debased, straightened and confined by low and earthly love. Whilst many men love the creature, in opposition to the Creator, most men in competition, in competition with the Creator, and almost all men in a way of separation from Him. O base and degenerate affections, let God be all things in your eye, so that you shall not see, nor know, nor love, nor taste anything but Him in the world. Deliver yourselves from all those low and straightening and starving creature loves and long and labor to be filled with pure and holy and spiritual delights, such as the angels of God have, such as the Son of God had when he made it his meat and drink to do the will of his Father. What uh, Reverend Shaw is helping us with is the anxiety that all of us are now going through uh, in the loss of what's familiar to us, the normal routine of our lives. Uh, some of you uh, are not able to go to work. Some of you have been financially affected by the COVID-19 restrictions. The reality is, beloved, what God is doing in all of this is showing us just how desperately we need to live upon Him, to delight in Him, you hear Shaw talk about creature loves, separating ourselves from the creature loves. Set your affections on things above, 
not on things of the earth. If there's one thing that the COVID-19 epidemic has shown all of us, it's just how deeply we are in love with the world, how deeply we are in love with the routine of our lives, that really, in a, in a, in a, in a sense that we don't readily want to admit, the routine of our lives has excluded God. And now God has kind of forced us, hasn't he? He's given us the time that we would normally be using to pursue earthly things to really focus ourselves on him. You hear Shaw at the end of that talk about the angels and how they look into the face of God and the, and the Son of God, the Lord Jesus, even when he was on earth, arising a great while before day to go meet with God, his Father. Beloved, God has given us that kind of opportunity now um, to really evaluate what it is we love and what it is we're dependent upon. Are you depending on your income? Are you depending on your stocks? Are you depending upon your job? Or are you dependent truly upon him? Let's, in this time, set our affections on things above. As, as uh, Samuel Shaw reminds us here, love and enjoy all things in God. Think about all of the wonderful things that we have to enjoy in life. The beauty of nature, taking a walk, all of the good and perfect gifts that God has given us. Do we enjoy all of those things in God? Your pastor misses you. I'm, I'm sad that I'm in an empty sanctuary. And I look forward to the day when this sanctuary is filled with you. And our voices are raised together once again in praise to our glorious, sovereign God. If I can help you, if I can pray for you, reach out to me. 248-310-5134. That's the cell directly to me, paul at redeemerwaterford.com. That's the email directly to me. Whatever I can do to minister to you and your family, please reach out.